is up everybody, this is Joshua Alvarez of Alvarez Gaming Films and welcome back to yet another episode of Utopias. My game has become... So yes, after a year of development, my game is finally finished and I am ready to continue the walkthrough of the game. So we just beat the Gravekeeper, we got the Gravekeeper's mallet, and now we have to go to the Castle Town to speak with Sister Mary. First, we're gonna buy some items, because, uh, very important to the game. Uh, I already have a short sword, so I don't need it. Uh, 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 I'm, I want... worship the great gods who gave us mortals life in Utopias. Thank you, Father Horus. We're honored to be here. Of course. Come along, there's something I need to inform you both. Something I have been given direct orders from the king. Okay, Father Horus is gonna walk up there. As much as I would like to see this through, I need to be off elsewhere to take care. Captain Zinn's gonna follow her. I'll be joining you guys. I was tasked with learning some of Utopius' history anyways. Can't wait to hear what Father Horus has to say. Alright, let me just go ahead and head up the stairs. To the Gate of the Gods. Here we are. The Gate of the Gods. The greatest weapon of Utopius rests behind that door. I've read so many stories about that sword. The, 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 <laughs> wow, chopping up my own writing. The Sword of the Gods. It's said that it was used by mortals gifted from the three first ones. Yeah, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. 
I've heard the stories too. Never have seen it though. Is it even real? Or it is real indeed. It is said that one day the gods will select a single mortal to wield the sword and smite evil across Utopias. The three gems that unlock the door to the inner chamber were entrusted to the different races of people in Utopias. I made it Ar Artemis Sapphire was given to the seafaring people of the Zora in the eastern lands. Lastly, Demeter's gem was given to the forest village of Light's Hope. Wait, Light's Hope? That's the village where Josh and I are from. One of the keys to the sacred sanctum was there the whole time? I've never seen any all-powerful gem back home. Demeter's emerald was recently returned to us after the Great War with the Scourge. It seems the undead armies were after the gems in the attempt to breach the sanctum and destroy the sword. Father Horus, how could simple undead monsters destroy a sword that was crafted by the gods? They can't. It was they who wanted to destroy it. It was the one who was sealed by it. Crowval. The room falls silent for a moment as Father Horus lets out a long sigh as he turns to Ryan and Joshua. Joshua. Ryan. I'm going to tell you a story that was told to many of our people for long ages. The history of Utopias and its gods. Eons ago, our world was nothing more than chaotic power, energy, earth, fire, water. The elements raged against one another until Krolval, the great titan, father of time, brought the elements in balance and created our world. Utopias was born. Krolval had three sons. Zeus, god of the sky, he would bring order to the heavens and become king of the gods. Poseidon, the god of the seas, he brought the raging oceans to ease and created the bays of Utopias. And Adonis, the god of wealth, and to bring prosperity to the creations of this world. Though these three brothers were proud to be the gods that they were, Krovald was not proud at all. He was afraid. I made that cinematic. <laughs> so, if anyone's not a fast reader, I'm very sorry. I tried to read all of that out loud, but I guess I made it too short. In, in hopefully in the next, you know, game that I make, I will make a mid-cut scene longer <laughs> than it Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's just continue. If Kroval returns, he could spell certain doom for everyone. 
Is there anyone who can wield the sword of the gods in the castle? There has to be someone. There has been none worthy in either my eyes or the king's eyes to wield the sword of the gods. No one has shown the same strength as the legendary hero of ancient past. Everyone falls silent, and then Father Horus breaks the silence with a statement. And so that is why you two were brought here. It is said that in the prophecy of the gods, that two young men from Light's Hope will rise above the undead one day. They will prove themselves worthy of the power of the gods, and take upon the sword of the gods and fight alongside them to defeat Kroval forever. And you think that's us? That's ridiculous. Josh and I are just average swordsmen from a small town. We have no connection to the gods whatsoever. Don't doubt yourselves, Ryan. After all, you guys defeated a powerful monster in your village and fought your way here to the castle town. More like just moseyed our way over, but okay. That doesn't mean we possess some hidden godlike strength, Cat. Right, Ryan, stop. If we do have some way we can fight against this evil and help our people, then we have to try. I suppose you're right. Never let down our village. I never stood down in the face of the undead. All right, we'll do what we can to help. Very good. Thank you, Ryan. Now then, our king has a test for you. The General Lightblade is waiting for your presence in the Utopian Dungeon. Go find him, and he will administer your test from the king. In the meantime, I have to see to my library for this grimoire Sister Mary got from you two. Be careful, guys. I feel like something bad is going to happen. I have to go get some medicine supplies. I'll see you soon. Anyways... Now that you, I like I said, that cutscene was very short, so I apologize to anyone who can't read fast. So, like he said, you gotta go to the dungeon, which is all the way to the left of the courtyard. I've been waiting for you two. Uh, General Lightblade? Wait, you're not... On guard! The Dark Knight. What? Who the heck are you? A warrior seeking a true challenge. Whoever this guy is, Josh, we gotta take him down. So, this is basically your first mini-boss fight, the Dark Knight. Use Ryan's ability to taunt, attack the heck out of him. That's why, I, this is also why I bought those potions earlier, so that way I can, you know, outlast this. It's still pretty strong, when you don't have that much stuff. suddenly leaves the area through black smoke. Who the heck was that? I don't know. I feel like he was holding back, though. Is this some kind of test? 
Josh, Ryan, are you guys okay? What happened? Hey, Cat. Yeah, we're fine. So weird knight was sitting here waiting for Ryan and I. Couldn't find General Lightplate anywhere. I see. It's unsettling. You guys are hurt. Let me help you. Catherine casts a healing spell. There. Should be brand new now. Thank you, Cat. I appreciate it always. Anytime I do whatever I can for you. Oh, anyway, the reason I came looking for you guys, the king has summoned you both. He wants me to come too for some reason. Come on. So that takes us out, and this locks the door. So that way you can't get back in there. I will let you know there is an Easter egg hidden in Castle Town somewhere. I didn't know I could go up there. Oh, but you can't get back down. Oops. I didn't mean to go back. Alright. Go up to the castle. Young ones, approach. We are honored to be summoned by you, King Arius. The honor is mine, young Joshua. Father Horus, Sister Mary, and Catherine here inform me that you two are quite capable against the evils of the undead. <laughs> Excuse me. We have defeated the gravekeeper in our village who transformed into a monster, an undead that tried to kill us on our way here. Impressive. I also am told by Catherine that you defeated a mysterious combatant that infiltrated Castletown somehow. Yeah, some dark armored guy came in and attacked us when we arrived at the barracks. Seems like there are dangers closer to us than I thought. Joshua, Ryan, I have something to offer you. Yes, your highness. For years, the people of Utopias have been awaiting the return of the legendary hero that will wield the sword of the gods. I have a task for you. Go out into Utopias and find the missing gems to the inner sanctum of the church. The first is in the eastern lands. The seaport, sir. Yes, they have been asking for aid for some time now. They have been under massive attack from undead pirates. Go to the people of the Zora. Spare what you can and aid them in their time of need. Please put a stop to these pirate attacks. We will do what we can, your highness. We won't let Utopias down. Your majesty, if I may. These two are my friends. I would like, with your permission, to be dismissed from the church to travel with them, so that I may keep them safe with my healing spells and professions in medicine. Well, in some cases, I'd have to discuss this with Father Horace. However, I don't see why he wouldn't allow you to go. Very well, I will allow it. Thank you, Your Highness. I will do our people proud. Looks like I'm coming with you from now on, Josh. Awesome. I'm so happy you'll be coming along with us, Cat. Just remember to stay close to me, okay? I promise I will. Alright, you two, let's get going. The Zora people need us. Oh, that kind of cut off there. That's alright. Let's go! And Catherine joins the party as the healer. Good luck to you all. So now we have Catherine in the party as our healer. Yeah.